Today, Apple has released a new software update. You can see here in the software update page, we have macOS 15 Sequoia Beta 3, and this is a re-released version. In fact, it's a re-released for developer betas and for public betas, we actually have some good news. So right here for me, you can see that Mac OS 15 Sequoia Beta 3 comes in at a very big file, which is 14.43 gigs. And at the same time, this is something that we've seen before where Apple re-releases a beta update of the same number or the same beta version. And then of course, as customarily, that means that we are going to be getting the public version of Mac OS 15 Sequoia in the same week. And that's what we've seen in the past. In fact, I would be happy to let you know today that the public beta version of Mac OS 15 Sequoia, the first beta just came out. And not only that, you can see here on the Apple developer page being 15 July today Apple re-released iOS 18 beta 3 and at the same time they also released the first iOS 18 public beta and Mac OS 15 beta 3 re-released and alongside that they released the first public beta of Mac OS 15 so in case you want to know how you can update your device to Mac OS 15, the public beta, since it's now available for public beta testers, usually when public betas are released, it means that Apple has deemed this software to be somewhat safe to be able to release to the public. And they actually have a clause right here. You can see, for example, with Marquez, since he's among the many YouTubers that are invited over for different Apple events, Apple doesn't like people covering the betas before the updates actually come out initially to the public. But we do this because it's our job here on YouTube. But once the public beta is available, it means that more people are going to be updating to it and Apple has gathered sort of most of the data that they were looking for. So if you want to update to it, you just go to this webpage, beta.apple.com. And then once you search, if you have an account, you can sign in. If you don't have an account, you can sign up. So I have an account already. I'll click where it says sign in. And under Mac OS, it's so intelligent because if you log in on your iOS, it will bring you to this page. But since we're doing this on Mac, you can see it brings me to this Mac OS 15 Sequoia page. And right here, it says that you can click where it says enroll your Mac and you have access to the betas and you receive notifications when a new beta is available and you can install it from software update. Now, this is something that's good. And once you've done that, you can basically close this window. And if you go into your system settings, it's just that I've already been testing developer betas for some time. But if you go into your system preferences, you can switch off automatic updates and then switch it back on if that's something that you like. And then if you click where it says beta updates right here, then you will see an option that says Mac OS 15 Sequoia public beta. And since you've enrolled your Mac to the public beta you'll be able to see the public beta and then you can also download it now keep in mind that of course there's various ways to download and install the mac os beta some install it completely on their device i'm installing it on my device right here the developer beta 3 but if you want to create a bootable storage or boot your mac from a partition then that is possible as well. And then that way you won't be taking much of a risk on your whole hard drive and only the partition of the external SSD that has Mac OS 15 Sequoia will be affected. So let's just give it some time and then I'll see what's new within this Mac OS 15 Sequoia update. My device is now up to date with the latest build that has just been released today. So in software update right here, you can see the new build number that I have. It's 24A5289H. And this actually takes us a step back because with the previous beta 3, we had 24A5289. 289G. So we went from a G to an H and in terms of stability, it just goes to tell or show that we are not yet there and we still have a lot of steps to go when it comes to Mac OS 15 Sequoia being released officially to everyone. Now, when it comes to some of the new features and changes, the first one, you probably saw it when I was updating my device. It's sort of a negative change in a way because this Mac OS 15 
public beta i'm not sure what sizes the public betas are getting but for me who was on beta 3 and re up dating to a re-released beta 3 you can see the massive re-download for the existing mac os users on the beta it's almost as big as the official or the initial download of mac os 15 which i don't seem to understand because as far as i'm concerned at this point in time the purpose of this update seems to put mac os 15 developer betas on par with that of the public betas because the builds are like this but yeah i'm here to dig deeper and see what this update is going to be hiding another change that i would like to highlight has to do with time sensitive notification this new updated banner with time sensitive information that has like sort of a live clock or countdown has been updated it's called joined now and with the previous update it was actually here but it's something that i haven't updated also something to highlight which isn't really much of a change the safari version is still the same from the previous update so it's still version 18.0 but the build number that we have is the same as the previous one 20619.1.20.11.1 which is not a change so whatever issue caused apple to release such a big update is probably one that doesn't have to do with webkit because if that was the case maybe the safari version would have been updated but then this update also does have some number of resolved issues which i can't really highlight all of them so one such good one is when basically uh, the app store no longer needs twice the space free when for an initial download of an application and only the space that the app is going to take will be required so that will save you a little bit of uh, storage right there and then of course resolved issue when it comes to camera another when it comes to network but something that's actually changed when it comes to this new update you go to the memoji picker right here you can see they've reverted back to the previous old version so for example here we had some uh memoji it's stickers that we could choose and be able to add so that has been reverted back to the recent and at the same time you can see the burger and like sort of a drink icon has been reverted to the previous one which is still the same before this was like an apple and this was just a car by itself without the building and this was like a heart symbol but you can see here within this apple update for mac os 15 sequoia beta 3.5 re-released they've reverted back to the previous version so i'm not sure why but at the same time this is something that is a change now something also that was released alongside this that you might not be aware of is the new homepod mini update so apple has introduced the homepod mini in midnight and there's actually a lot of memes online making fun of this because the color looks the same as space gray so this is midnight and space gray looks exactly the same and you can see the variants various number of colors that it comes in and this is just the homepod mini as far as i'm concerned the homepod device the bigger one hasn't yet been released if you're just updating to the public beta on mac os 15 sequoia for the first time you're going to enjoy this iphone mirroring application if you open it up this is going to basically mirror your iphone to your mac and you won't have to touch your iphone or remove it from a charger so you can see here you have the ability to go back to the home page you have the ability to multitask and see your recently viewed applications and if you go into like a locked application like whatsapp here you can see instead of having to take out your iphone and using your device for uh, face id you can use your mac actually to just authenticate with your touch id which is something that's good and if you want to go home you can click where it says cancel and then go home and at the same time there's iphone notifications and apple watch notifications that carry over to the mac so you can see here for example if i click here where it says your apple watch is fully charged it automatically opens up the apple watch application on my mac and i didn't even have to touch my 
device so this is something that's good it will save you some time and help you stay creative without having to be distracted by your iphone and another big change that's here with mac os 15 is window tiling so you can see the many different options that they've added instead of having just two options you can even have four different applications at the same time on the screen and this is all thanks to mac os 15 sequoia updated window tiling and of course keep in mind that different apple applications have different tiling options so not all apps are going to be scaled the same but regardless it's good to see that we have more tiling options to be able to fill and arrange our windows accordingly now also something that you are going to enjoy is a new passwords application that you can see right here this application will give you all your pass keys that you've entered in the past it will also give you different codes and if you have any saved passwords it will give you the password name and the device you use to connect to it as well as the authentication and the information so that you can be able to connect and if you have any passwords that have like been breached or have leaked publicly and then you'll be able to see that right there so it's trying to give it a uniformity across all your devices because this is available on ipad on ios and on mac not to take too much of your time but in messages right here you can see if you just type a message instead of just sending it right here you have the option to click and go to where it says send later and now you can schedule your message you can choose the calendar or the month that you want to send your message and then once you are here you can choose the time and then click schedule and then that way your message will be scheduled to be sent at that exact moment which is something that's good and it doesn't actually end there in messages they've updated the message effects and stickers and it makes it more on par with ios so just in brief this is how this new mac os 15 sequoia update came in for me on my device kind of a big update with very minor changes it does bring developer betas and public betas on par with each other and of course keep in mind that like what we've seen in the past when apple releases an update like this from what we've seen this typically means that next week we won't actually have a mac os update in terms of sequoia but then the week after we can expect macOS 15 sequoia beta 4 or the next public beta